Martin Czech is writing this. I don't understand who would want to reach the state. Why would I want to nullify myself before someone who I don't know and sends me suffering? He also adds something else. If you're a thief, at least you can be proud of this. But who wants to be a slave? I agree with him. I have no problem to say that he's completely right. A person's uh, pride will... Uh, uh, would hum will humiliate him. The question is, what does it mean to be a slave? What does it mean to be a man, to be a woman, and so on? The matter is that of definition. A slave is that which I know that the desire to receive controls me. That it controls me, not that I am controlling it, that I am the host. I begin to differentiate this uh, myself from the ego and see that my ego controls me. Uh, I want to do this and that, and my nature comes and uh, does with me whatever it wants. I see how this occurs in humanity, yes? We want to uh, be different in some extent, but we're not able. Our nature conquers us and does uh, with it whatever it wants. So I am a slave to my ego, to my nature. So he should stop thinking that he's a man and he, that he's free and so on. He's not free. Uh, what thing? He doesn't see that he's completely uh, addicted to his nature and carrying out uh, its commandments. This is one thing. And the second, uh, uh, the second thing is that this slavery that he's found in now, uh, he should see how it ruins him. It's uh, like truly ending his life without any anything in return, any compensation. If we would look at it correctly, one would understand that maybe there is a different state. That maybe we can exit this. It doesn't matter what state. The main thing is that we should exit the state. Why is it not important for me what state? Because truly, bestowal is very hated by us. Uh, but I have to hate my present state more than the state of bestowal. Otherwise, how will I do this? So he's right. I am not familiar with the second host. I have only an opportunity to sell myself to this other guy the second uh, one, and then I'm disconnecting from the first one in this way. So I have to choose between them, and that's my choice. That's my choice. If I don't feel that in this I turn to be a slave to the second uh, essence, to bestowal, then it's not a decision. The decision, oh, I am free in this that I can decide between them. Suddenly one identifies himself, he sees himself in this very narrow, very small uh, space of decision. To who uh, does he belong himself? And then uh, he begins his work. This is something very internal, very psychological that uh, occurs in a person. And this understanding that he's, uh, he's like sold, he belongs to one or the other. And he begins to sell himself. Now, there's many details here, and this is already the middle line. Well, we'll talk about this another time.